Hey folks, Alton Jones here, Rehabs to Riches. I'm in here in Lewiston, uh, Maine, and I'm at the police memorial that uh, two officers were killed in the line of duty many years ago. And uh, I, I come here for a reason. That's because, uh, you know, being a policeman myself for more than 30 years in Los Angeles, uh, I have a great found respect for our law enforcement professions professionals that go out there and do the job that no one's willing to do and it's a really tough job to do it at times and, and it, even though how fun it can be it can be very deadly at times too um, the purpose of my video today is to talk about goal setting uh, when you're in business you want to rehab or if you're in any kind of business for that matter you should have some kind of goal in mind your goal should have some kind of action behind it too so when I'm looking at when I first started in the business uh, I wanted to reach a certain type of income level and I knew I had to be able to uh, find the right type of vehicle. I figured real estate was it. And in dealing with real estate, I found out that I had to find the right type of people who were uh, doing it and having success in this business. So I wanted to find out what were they doing. Well, one of the things they showed me, they had like a dream board. They put together a dream board of things that they wanted to have. But in order to get those dreams, to realize those dreams, you had to put action behind it. And that is you had to be able to say, what, how many phone calls do I need to make? How many deals do I need to put on the contract? How many uh, uh, people I need to talk to in person and, and to get deals? Because, you know, most people think that, oh, the, the deal, every deal that they talk to or somebody they talk to is going to uh, help them get their, that thing accomplished. It's not going to happen. The first person you talk to is not going to want you to do business with you. But the number of calls that I made, in some cases it was like 100, 200 calls, I had to make a goal of having 100 or 200 calls a day or even a week or whatever it may be if I wanted to get to the person that was going to say, yes, I'll do business with you. So you got to have those goals. And, uh, and, and so those goals are going to drive us. Your goals have to be so big, hairy, audacious that you have to be willing to give up something to get them. Sometimes you may have to give up TV. That's the most common thing people uh, uh, cater to is watching TV every day or listening to the radio and getting into the news cycle of what's going on with other people in, in the world. But the reality is that you need to be able to have something you got to work towards. So give up something, whether you're going to spend an extra day or an extra hour or two hours doing whatever it takes that, that you didn't want to do, but that way you can ach achieve the goals that you wanted to have. So and here's an example. You know, I want to be able to have my kids go to college. Well, I needed to create a vehicle to help that happen. So if I had to buy one house or two houses, I ended up buying five houses in one state and, uh, and being able to rent those properties out so that I can uh, have my kids pay for their colleges when they uh, become old enough to go to college. I didn't want to have to worry about it because I know at their age today, it's going to cost me a couple hundred grand or more to send both those kids to college in the future. So I needed a plan. And the plan is something I had to put some kind of action behind so that I can move forward with it. So that's one thing in goals. Uh, the other thing is uh, looking at personal goals. Other than business goals, you may have a goal to lose weight. Well, you got to work towards that area. So you may not have to eat that Kit Kat or that Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. I love so much eating Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and uh, it's tough. So sometimes you have to push back. What are you going to do if you have those things? How, what is the pain that you're going to have to go, put yourself through in order to uh, 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 satisfy yourself? So if I want a piece of candy or chocolate or a cupcake, I got to work out, right? And working out is painful. So, uh, but sometimes you have to get up early or you have to stay up late to make it happen. But guess what? You accomplish your goal. I, I have little small milestones of things that I have to achieve. Sometimes you just can't take, well, I want to buy that big old commercial building. Yeah, that's like eating an elephant with one big bite. Well, sometimes you got to take small bites. Take small bites means you have to have small goals, small achievements. You, if your goal is so big that it's impossible for you to achieve, then you need to readjust your goal to smaller goals so that way you're not disappointed. And I see that all the time. People make goals and they get themselves caught up in a vision of grandeur and they don't achieve their goal. They're disappointed in themselves and they give up. Sometimes you're about three feet away from gold. And then when you're three feet away from gold, and all of a sudden you give up, you quit too soon. You just had to work a little longer, a little harder, stay up a little later. The difference between the winners and losers out there is that it's it's so small, folks. The, the, hold on, let me, did you see that? It's so small, the difference between winners and losers, that it is scary. It, 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 it's, it's that competitive winning edge. It, it, in order for you to win, you can't compete. You can't compare. You have to compete with yourself, not with someone else. Don't worry about what your neighbor's doing. Don't worry about what your best friend's doing. Don't worry about what your brother-in-law's doing. Worry about what you have done today. You have to do the most 
a productive thing possible at every given moment. I'll say that again. You have to do the most productive thing at every given moment, okay, in order for you to be able to achieve your goal. Don't worry about anything around you, but goals are very important. You got to sit down, write them out, and, and you know what? Here's the secret, folks. This secret is so big, watch. You get other people caught up in your dream. You get them caught up in your dream because then what's happening is they're going to look at magazines, they're going to find cars. You're going to say, hey, you know, go through this magazine and, 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 and see what, what you like. Guess what? They're going to find out that whatever dream they're helping you with is really their dream. So they're going to get you, going to get them caught up in your dream, but at the same time, they're going to help you help them with their dream. So it's okay to help others while helping yourself. You get them caught up in your dream and everything is going to be wonderful. And at the end of the day, hopefully this information was helpful to you about goal setting and dreams and things like that, but you got to have a plan of action to work behind it to achieve it. Otherwise, it's just a wish. And wishes, you know, there's no tooth fairy out there, folks. And, and you need to be able to become the tooth fairy. Don't wish for the tooth fairy, become the tooth fairy. I'm Alton Jones, Rehab to Riches. Like our, uh, our, our story on, uh, on, on, at the end of this uh, video and then share it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We got some more valuable information we can hopefully share with you. See you at the top.